hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time coming across my channel you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and if you are a return subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to support me i really appreciate So in today's video, I'm going to talk about five things I wish I knew before studying software engineering here in Morocco. So let's get into the video. The number one thing I wish I knew was that being a software developer isn't the only career path into the IT industry. Yeah, there are a lot of IT courses that you can do and it will help you like join the IT industry. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Like for example, you can do uh, digital marketing, you can still be in the IT industry, you can do um, project uh, management, you can do networking, and there are some small, small courses, uh, even data analysis. So there are lots of courses that you can actually do and then it can land you or get you into the IT industry. The second thing I wish I knew was that I didn't have uh, only to focus on developing or building applications and websites, but instead I wish I learned uh, more about data structure, networking, algorithms and databases. Like there are a lot of things out there to learn uh, as you are in this journey of software engineering or as you're trying to join the IT industry I wish I actually focused more in uh, in learning like more algorithms and databases because I, I feel like uh, these things are actually like the foundation of so being a software engineer is not all about writing codes or coding but it's about programming the whole thing and when it comes to programming you really have to know algorithms i know some algorithms but not too much they only taught me like the basics of algorithms i wish i went into like details when i was in school like to learn more algorithms and databases because uh, when it comes to programming you have to have you have to have problem solving skills and algorithms is all about um, problems and finding solutions for that problem so i wish i knew more about algorithms like i wish i learned more more and more about algorithms and this leads us to the third point which is use the three p's which is uh, perseverance more practice or let's say practice and problem solving like you have to have some sets of problem solving for example if they if a client gives you a certain type of a website or or an app for you to develop the first thing that has to come into your mind is how are you going to solve or find a way to build that thing which is kind of like solving solving the problem or for example if you run into an error how are you going to solve that error how are you going to come out of that error you understand and as i said software engineering is not all about coding and coding and coding. i mean anyone can code but not everyone can uh program something so to become a software developer you really have to know how to um solve problems and that's now programming like to program something yeah so when it comes to perseverance uh being a developer or being a software developer is very tiring so you really have to put it in your head that yes i can do it you have to be determined you have to know that no matter what this is what you want to do and this is your career path so you have to just keep on pushing and pushing and pushing and uh, when it comes to practice to become a very good um developer you really have to be practicing be because you might forget uh writing code you understand? i remember when i was in school um, my teacher advised me he was like uh to be very good at this course or to be very good like later in the future you have to be practicing at least every day one hour like every day you have to take an hour to practice writing codes programming finding solutions and all that that's what he told me but i thought maybe he was kind of like kidding but that's the truth so i wish i knew 
that when it comes to software uh, developing or software engineering, you have to have a lot of practice. You have to practice every day, like every time you have to be practicing so that you will get good at what you're doing. So that's the three P's for me. The fourth point or the fourth thing that I wish I knew before uh, studying software engineering was that 90% of the time as a software engineer you are going to be having bugs, you're going to be debugging. If, like 90% will be debugging and 10% will be writing bugs. So I really don't know how to explain more, more about this, but that's it. I wish I actually knew that it was going to be like this. And lastly, you won't be learning the languages or the tools used in the industry after your school. So during school time, they only teach you like the basics of, um, or let's say the fundamentals of CSS, HTML, uh, JavaScript, like the basic stuff, you understand? But then. And they don't actually teach you like frameworks or libraries. You have to find that after when you're done with school, like maybe during your stage, that's when you uh, you learn things like uh, React, Angular, and Laravel and other frameworks out there. Uh, these are the things that I actually wish I knew before I started like uh, software engineering. So guys, before I conclude with today's video, I will just want to add one more thing or one more tip yeah to these things that i wish i knew is that uh you have to build a portfolio you understand and do more projects just go on youtube learn one or two projects to add uh in your portfolio so that it will look like presenting and as you are joining like the job market, you have something to show the hiring managers that, okay, these are the projects that I've been doing when I was in school. I wish I actually knew all these things. I didn't know until now, and I'm still working on my, on my portfolio, you understand? So I just want you, as you're preparing your mind, to join this new academic here here in Morocco or wherever you are watching this video from, you have to know that you as you went to school start doing videos watch videos on on youtube uh simple simple videos and then add them on your portfolio build a portfolio and you are good to go so yeah these are the things i wish i knew so guys we've come to the end of today's video i hope it was useful to you and yeah please, please don't forget to share this video with someone out there and if you know anyone that is is joining the it industry or is trying to learn software engineering please share this video with them and i hope it's going to be helpful and please don't forget to subscribe like and comment below and thank you for watching see you in my next video